When I'm working with a student who is struggling to pass NREMT, they've failed the NREMT exam. There are four main things that I uncover they're usually doing wrong. If we can fix these four main things, they go ahead and pass. So I wanna start with number one. The first is they do not know their signs and symptoms cold. So here's what I mean. All of the medical emergencies, all of the traumatic emergencies, all the diseases that you've learned about, whether it's EMT or paramedic class, you have to understand the hallmark signs and symptoms. For example, like myocardial infarction, stroke, um, head injuries, seizures, diabetic emergencies, different types of shock. If you don't understand these cold, if you don't understand the exact signs and symptoms, you get tripped up on easy questions on NREMT. So we first need to make sure that the student understands all the hallmark signs and symptoms. That is number one. Number two, usually the student is not aware of what to study exactly. They're not sure what the best method of studying is for them and also on top of that, they don't know exactly what content to study. So in National Registry, there are five main areas of study. So that means you need to study these areas in order to prepare for the exam. That is airway, respiration, ventilation. That is cardiology and recess. That's trauma, medical OBGYN, and EMS SOPs. And remembering 85% of the questions are gonna be adult and 15% are pediatrics. So don't forget to review pediatrics as well. So, so far we've learned about the content areas to study. And now we know I gotta know my signs and symptoms. We pair that up, what's two out of four? We're off to a good start. As you know, as humans, we wanna try everything. People may tell you to be diversified, try this, try that. The same is true when we're talking about NREMT study apps. Whatever application or study plan you use, you need to stick to that study plan and complete it. When students come to me and they're struggling, they'll tell me, I'm using flashcards, I'm using books, I'm using apps, I'm using websites, I'm using a tutor, I'm using all kinds of things. And then they wonder why they cannot pass. The reason they can't pass is they're scatterbrained and they're not focused. So what my students do is they hyper-focus on one study plan. They complete it multiple times so they know they are prepared. This goes along with many things in life. And it's the same here for when we're studying for a big exam like NREMT. So we've made it now to number four. And what it has to do with is time. NREMT gives you by default a 15 day window that you must sit out and study in between attempts. So let's say you fail your first attempt. You have 15 days, you must sit out, and they're trying to get you to study before you go jump back in. I see too many students jump back in too early without changing their study plan. They're just eager to give it another shot. Oh, I can do it, I'm confident. I don't want you to just be emotionally confident. I want you to be practically confident and internally confident because you actually followed a study plan and you completed it to its nth degree. It's at 100%, you did it. And you did it over weeks. You did over a long period of time, a recommended amount of time. So that's the last thing I want you to do is to rush back in, especially if you haven't changed your study plan and what you're doing. Now, I promised you four, but I wanna give you a bonus tip. And this is something that I share with my students here online. It's called alpha waves. So these are brain waves that you can listen to in the background while you're studying. It's helped me tremendously, even when I'm trying to concentrate to get something done, right? It could be studying, could be trying to get a, a project together, 
trying to work on better minute coach for all of you you can just search them up on youtube play them in the background while you're studying it's worked wonders for a lot of my students especially those with add adhd hope it serves you now a lot of you asked in the comments about how to prepare for school how to get through school and how to pass nremt the first link in the description is a study tool that i give to all my students to accomplish all of that. It's called the Video Vault. Inside the Video Vault is over 480 videos of content, audio files, worksheets, practice quizzes, our community group. What I do in the Video Vault is take all the concepts you need to know to pass school at NREMT, and I break them down simply for you, so that way you just follow along with the videos, you follow the study plan, and you pass. I give my students lifetime access in the first link in the description, and I'll see you on the inside.